everybody welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hello welcome my name is Tao today I am doing a DIY video for you guys because I love doing DIYs and like at home crafts and activities so if I'm gonna do it anyways I may as well record myself and then post it and um, that way you guys can see what I'm making and if you're interested in it you can follow along do it as well learn some new skills and get some new clothes in your wardrobe because that's all I seem to DIY is clothes. I have made pants, I have made shirts, I've made all kinds of different DIY clothing articles and I actually wear them because they turn out really, um, not really good but like fairly decent. So I thought today we could do this little adventure together. I am trying to make my very own sarong so a little like beach cover up to cover up your bathing suit because what well, my mom describes my bathing suits as rude because they're like the thong style bikini bottoms. Anyways, I have some fabric left over. Well, not left over, but it's from my Halloween costume this past year. I was like a zombie bride, but I have this lace material and I thought it would be so cute to make it into a sarong just because it's like very flowy, very loose, light. Anyways, I am going to set you guys up so you're looking down at my desk and we will get started, but basically all you need is your material you're gonna need your sewing kit obviously if you have a sewing machine great use a sewing machine it takes a lot less time than hand sewing everything but because I don't I just have a giant sewing kit and you will need whatever thread you want obviously sewing needles but the most important part that you are going to need is a tape measure because you need to measure your waist for how long or why do you make the sarong so I suggest the fabric ones or not fabric ones but the like fabric measurement ones which are very like soft and flexible so that's what I have if you only have like one of those carpenter metal ones that work it's just a little bit easier to do it with one of these design tape measures designer tape I don't know what they're called just like the flexible ones I will set you guys up and we will get started okay so welcome to my craft station which is basically just my desk i have my material here and what i need to do is measure my waist how far it goes around so i have my tape measure and i will do that and then we have to add i believe it is 16 inches to that length so then that way there's enough room to actually like tie i'm 30 inches I have a small waist compared to like my thighs and stuff so that's great anyways 30 inches plus another 16 will leave us at 46 so this is how long I need to make the sarong 46 inches so what I'm going to do is measure out 46 inches on the fabric and I'm going to leave maybe about an inch at the end so that way I can sew it and you know make it look nice we're at 30 inches so far and 46 is right here and we're going to go to about 46 Seven, and I am just going to make a little snip and for the length down or the um, I guess it's the height of this I want it to be approximately about 18 inches long that would go down to just above my knee so um, I will measure out 20 inches down in height that way it'll give myself a little bit of extra room to work with and that would leave me around here we'll make a little snip I have the slits cut on my fabric and I am going to need to cut out this long rectangle. I'm going to need to move some stuff. I don't have enough room on here. All right, we've got more room on my table. I'm going to need to make a mark so that way I actually do this straight. So I have a Sharpie here. I'm just going to make a dot that goes across. 
so that way I know where to cut. Beautiful, and now I'm just going to cut my fabric. We have one piece of the fabric. Now we just need to make the exact same piece on the second half of the fabric here. So what I will do is literally safety pin these together. And then that way I can just trace the cut. All right, now time to cut out the exact same thing on this bottom piece. All right, I have these two pieces. So now what you need to do is fold this exactly in half because this is going to be the stage that we give our sarong the actual shape. Okay, and what we need to do is now cut a curve going up towards the top. Now you don't want to leave it like a triangle at the top, you want to leave a few inches so that way you can sew these up and then be able to tie it and it's not a thin piece of fabric. You're going to cut from down in this quarter all the way till about two or three inches from the top of the fabric. And this is what you're left with. I know it looks very sharp here, but once we start sewing it, it will definitely smooth itself out. This is what it should look like once it's all laid out and unfolded. And we are going to start sewing this all together now. So we need to, first off, sew the entire top and all the edges all the way around. And we can leave this last little spot unsewn so then we can flip it inside out. And that way we can do the stitch over top and give it a nice little, that way we can give it a nice border all the way around. And if you're feeling very artsy craftsy, you could definitely do some sort of trim. So obviously the top of this has a trim already. I won't be adding a trim, but if you're filling up to it, you definitely could. It would make the sarong literally 50 million gazillion times better. But I'm going to start sewing this, just starting at the top and literally going all the way around till here. next day I've spent the past 24 hours basically sewing this because I do everything by hand and not with a sewing machine which takes me like a gazillion times longer but I sewed all the way around except for that little end piece and I literally just put it inside out so I took the other end and I just pulled it through the open slot and now it is all nicely stitched so you can't see the mess stitching it's all just really nicely done and basically all I need to do now is finish the last little open section by sewing it together and then it's done it's ready to be worn be used which is really exciting because I have been sewing this for the past 24 hours so I'll give you a little time lapse of me sewing this Are we surprised that I'm here almost a week later after making this sarong and I haven't filled an outro? Well, I'm not, so. Uh, this is what she looks like and I know I'm not wearing my bathing suit, but this is gonna have to do. Basically, give it a quick little tie and it's a little spicy because it's kind of see-through-y-ish because it's lace, but it covers at the back. If I stand on my chair, you'll see. It covers at the back and it has enough room to tie at the front. So I will insert, well, the thumbnail pictures right here 
which kind of shows how it turned out but make sure you guys stay tuned to my instagram because i am bound to be posting lots of pictures of me wearing my little homemade sarong but i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video make sure that if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe and comment down below your favorite summer drink and i hope that everyone has an amazing day whenever you're watching this and i will see you guys in my next video bye